welcome to the petrol training this is the first video of the series in this video we're gonna teach you how to set up a new project in the petrol and little bit about the user interface of the petrol so here you will see the different tabs first tab is a file the file tab contains all the settings and save project button then you will see the home tab in the home tab you will see there is a perspective uh, the perspective when you select uh, there are different perspectives like seismic to simulation geology and geophysics advanced geophysics weather and production, shale and data management. But currently, we will work with the geology and geophysics perspective. So select that. It will give you a systematic arrangement of the, all the tabs and buttons which are related to the G and G. see what's in the stratigraphic tab you can see here are the option how to create the new well the well filter well data manager cross section editor new well section window uh, stratigraphic window how to create the new chart stratigraphic charts log calculators well top manager and surfaces making all these are in the stratigraphic tab the next is a seismic interpretation. It will contain the interpretation work, workflow, like uh, it will begin from well to seismic tie, the wavelet to the log conditioning, then well, seismic interpretation, the volume attributes, different mixtures, and uh, we have the geo body interpretation, the structure tools, and make surface tool and polygon editor. Then there are uh, exploration geology tab. This is for the basin modeling, the 1D model, 2D model, and 3D model, like boreal history curve. And Here we are decision support. Then the structural modeling where you can do the fault scene analysis, the fault framework, and different structural modeling. Then we have a property modeling tab where we can use all those. In this tab, all the tools which can help us in the facies modeling, petrophysical modeling, the neural networks, and just that. It's a fracture model the fracture model. Then we have a production uh, tab and well design tab. So let's start our lesson of the day how to create or set up a new project in the petrol. Now go to the file and select new project. Is creating new project. We have to wait for a while. You can see there is a link in create a new project. So wait and uh, here we go. There is our new project. It's empty. You can see all the tabs and the buttons are active now. So here is the input tab. All the data we will use in the project will remain in this tab the input pan so there's a templates all the all the things we used have a template like velocity template average velocity everything available in the template folder there were different tabs there like layout messages and everything present there so first we have to define the project coordinate reference system to locate our data on the map so for that 
we have to go to the project setter then we have to go to the project setting and here we go settings open there we, we have option coordinates and unit the current the, the coordinate reference system CRS is undefined we have to go to the select button and we have to select our coordinate reference system the our reference system is let me see is ED50 UTM31 so we have we can find it from the list but it will take some time so we will search it so this uh, ED50 UTM31 so there we go there is our reference system it is ED50 UTM31 European 150 based UTM zone 31 north in meters we have to select it and then here we go here is all the details of the coordinate reference system okay now now you can see the coordinate reference system now next type is a unit system here it's a metric customized we will use the metric system in this project you, you can customize any unit or it's asking us to apply the coordinate system so first we have to say press apply the project coordinate reference system then we can change any unit we want so click this and here we go this is the window with the, all the measurements we can select any measurement and change its units it's very really simple so like uh, we can see here, here, let me check. Uh, like pH or no, uh, like porosity. There are all the default the unit currently in the template. We can change that. Like resistivity, all the units are there. Like we can filter that out. Like we should check depth unit so like uh, with depth it's in meter we can change it to any other like kilometer feet or anything like that click ok and click ok but we will not going to change it now ok you can also see the storage unit x y z values are meter area meter square volume meter cube the seismic in millisecond and the seismic velocity is meter per second now for the second thing we have to set up the project reference datum the time reference is SRD seismic reference datum it will be mean sea level and mean sea level is zero so we have to create our SRD click on create give a name SRD so Z value at SRD it will be 0 and replacement velocity will also be 0 so ok now select our SRD apply and ok now our project is ready to use and now we have to save the project give it the name the your location and the name well so this is option label show phone 20 click the 2d click apply and here you here you see the well names and look we use deltas x y 
for creating a temporary well so it's present exactly on it look see so let's uncheck all the temporary wells we can change the well colors from this option we can set them white like apply go all white and we can set as well as well color okay here is here are well colors so when we click apply it will apply these color of the well okay we can also set some values with this well in a track like uh, mm, on the right we click the value as well and let's select the value i turn on the annotation z values click apply let's increase its font so we can see it no, still it's too small uh, let's put it 300 and here we go let's change the side values uh, here we go we can see x value there's a problem with the empty values so look we can set any property or any values to display on the map in the track option okay let's cancel this out so our well are loaded in the project let's delete the temporary wells yes delete this too this delete okay okay let's remove this value go to the setting again track and uncheck apply ok so here we can see our wells ok we can let's check this out this is a view this is a pick mode this is an option to measure the distance like click on that like we want to check distance from alpha to pi so we click on that give us the distance here like there we go is 9981.96 meter okay let's uncheck that there is a set the domain option there's a two option three option any it will show both time and depth domain 
so if we want to see only deaf to main we can select a dvd it will only show us the deaf data and if we set twt the two way time it only give us the data which is in time domain so currently we have only wells and wells as we all know is in depth domain so when we select twt the all data will vanish there is nothing in this project right now which is in time domain so let's go back to the any so as we already discussed this i icon you click on i and it will display all the data to the window so this is the view from the side above this will only activate in this all option will activate in 3d window let me show you that let's go to the 3d window now which side you want to see like uh, i say i want to see it from the south so when we click on the south it will go to the south so then again we can see from the west this will change the direction again you want to see from above click on that and i will show you from above okay this is the zoom option we can use that to zoom the data but still we don't have any other data in this so it will not activate so this is another option orthographic camera it will show you Let's move this and roll. And now this is the important one, the Z scale. Okay, there are well. The Z scale is our depth. So if we increase that, it will increase this. See length of the well increase now is out of our window so we have to adjust it according to our screen so let's just see it for so now we can see the whole well okay these are the track the cursor and track the and link the camera option it will use during the interpretation we will discuss about that later okay the next option is the background change toggle the background it can change into white or black so when we click it it will go to black white and we'll click back let's go to black again so there are option to display some elements like axis when we click on axis it will show us the whole axis like this like here we go like this okay now there is another option you can set legend compass we already have a compass here so now another option is a note you can create a new note or voice note anything we're working and we found something so we just click on new note click on location and here we can add anything a b c and click ok so it will create a note on this location so when we click on that it will show us this Okay, next, this is a copy bitmap, we, turn, we want to take a screenshot of this window, so directly we can copy the bitmap, email, blog, clipboard, we can throw export graphic and we can save it anywhere. We have many options like any type of PGN, PM, okay, make it cancel. Now this is the option. 
if we click this this will remove all the data from current window so like that yes everything is unchecked so again we want to see the all the data we click on well main folder it will show all the wells okay let's go let's move forward now we're gonna load deviation surveys in the well so for that we have to click the well like let me see if we have deviation survey of alpha well and phi well so first we load alpha well so we click on gr scammer gr gapi it's fine click ok and let's see where are Gia there are Gia and the light click spreadsheet again there are no values in this so we have to solve this problem there is something wrong with the last file so I have to like this right click and I would like find some of the Excel I was not expecting this but file give error so here is something new you can learn how to edit a last file and solve the error so I'm gonna open the last file into the Excel okay here we go there's the Excel and uh, is number four column so let me delete all other okay and now select go to the data and text to column and it's a delaminated file it lags and it, this is space delaminated and next and finished This is empty column. Let's delete that. So one, two, three, four. This is our gr. So we have to delete all the extra. Let me delete every other column. Delete this. Okay. Now we have empty, and this is gr. Let's put something insert is empty it's in feet and this is gr let's save this file and save as same to do with logs and let's save this as a, a space delimited file delta gr log save it and save yes let's close this I'm gonna save close this so here we go let's check the file delta gr okay let's close this let's go there let's delete the gr to go delta right click on that important selection now we make a ASCII file that's not a last file so well log ASCII and here we go delta gr log click ok and open so here we go it's a different procedure 
we have to define column in this we have to specify log to load so one column two column uh, no the first column is defined here and here we can see MD is decreasing like 12900 12, 12895 5. so we have to check this empty decreasing we have only one log we have to define its name is gr is in column number 2 and its property template is gamma ray okay and we already have gr global well log template so we click that so we go to setting elevation is kb auto wrap we skip minus 99 we go to coordinates and units so specify the unit we have z value in feet in the last file there are units are defined so software automatically detect that and convert that to the project's unit but in the ASCII we have to define that manually so it's defined and click OK and here we go it's loaded now let's check spreadsheet and there we go the gamma ray values are there now let's check our logs and display them so in petrol to display the logs we have to use a well cross section window so here is the well section window so click on that we have to create new cross section so we can give any name like SGS <clears throat> and we can use create a new template or use existing template in existing template you have, we have a lithology sonic triple combo and many other templates so let's use um, let's use a new template click OK and here we go we have a well section window it's domain is SS DVD subsurface DVD so let's we use MD for that you can use anyway so you see it's an empty so to display the well <laughs> we have to check the well here we go well one okay so you can see there's no log in it you can expand that by dragging that you can set vertical scale from there so let's think thousand five hundred ten thousand so anyway, we can lock the scale, synchronize scrolling, which will you use in correlation. This will this is used for correlation like set the well. It, it will give us a relative distance. We can set into constant. It will have a con constant distance like 95 and relevant relative distance. Okay now we have to put log in this template so for that I have to click the well so first I want to see GR so I click on GR right click on that it will go to add to a global template in the vertical and create a new track and click this and here you can see our GR okay now tau one well 
I think I have no GR that's why it's not present so this, 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 this yes there is no GR in this file that's why it's not display in that so let this display DT right click on that go to global template vertical and we can add into GR or into new track so click on new track and here we go there is a DT as well also have a DT so it's there so now you can see there is a log scale but it's a random so we have to define a proper log scale so for that we have to go to the template setting and here we go and you click on GR and there it is and there you can change its template or we want to change its scale so here is a limit where we can the minimum maximum and we'll say 0 to 150 in normal direction and click apply so here you can see <coughs> GR scales has been changed okay then we go to DT and we can define that go to the limit minimum maximum we can see minus 40 to 1 40 and click apply and here you go you can see DT scale okay you can change curve colors from there like the line it's a black line you can use specific color from there you can select the color like I would say green and click apply so it will green we can just set as property the color that is defined to the DT template so as we click it's, there we go we can change line thickness from there 1 to 2 apply we can be as thick we can also change the line type like this but it's usually solid so keep it solid and we can show our data points by clicking on that and show in a black color we will apply and it will show all the data points but we don't need this click apply and okay here yeah, you can see so let's see our other logs you can select control b the density log with the dt track and here we go we can also send the n5 if it is present in this log let's see let's see let's see now this will have so let's send him to this okay we can set the template from here click there I will say a triple combo and here we go it will set a default We will discuss about well section window and its setting and properties and how to set the templates and everything else in the well correlation lecture. So for log and loading that's it.
that's how you load and display the well logs into the petro you all have to complete this task and notify us and please save the project after all your work so you can resume from there thank you and goodbye
Hello everyone. Welcome to Patrol Training, lesson number four. Today we're gonna learn how to load well tops and seismic data. So let's start with the well tops. For that, you have to right click on well top main folder, and then you have to go to import on selection. Then you have to go to the well top file and you have to select file of type the petrol well tops ASCII open the file here is an import window first you have to delete all delete delete so let's check how many columns our file have so it has one two three four and five okay so we have to add one two three four five so first as well so click on that select well then second is surface so you have to find surface sense like that the third is MD the surface depth or well top depth so I have to select MD and it's in feet so change meter into feet now next is time in millisecond so let's go to the select time a two bit time picked like that and it automatically millisecond and then type and we have to find type 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 and here we go this type <coughs> again the number of header line or one seven it's not changing but I must say hold on okay leave this up you can go to definition in style okay okay now the next setting this is the scale the vertical scale we can define that like we go to 10,000 it will show us all the well like go to 5 so it will give us a very good view we can lock <coughs> the vertical scale then it will not change by this bar so when we unlock this then we can change this like this 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 you can move this okay there are synchronized scrolling if we turn this off and we select the well so only this well will move so if we turn this on then it will move alongside all the other well 
so this is synchronized scaling scaling so if I change scale this it will change all the other wells and then if I uncheck this and change the well so it will change only this well so let's again let's change. lock this okay we can equalize all the scale that we have disturbed so by clicking on that we can see all the well here you can see all the well view the entire wells okay now this is the horizontal scale we can select it as a relative scale then it will show us the relative positions of well here you can see that this well is closer then this is far away then this is again away and these are little bit closer okay now we can change the scale so again let me change this and as you can see okay we can close it up by adding like that okay now other is a constant scale it will put all the well on the constant distance but it will mention its original distance on this okay we can increase their distance like that okay then we can add comment and we can copy this image this window image okay let's again it go to 1000 and 250 okay and here you can see okay this is quite big so let's go to again template setting and go to well tops go to style level change it to 9 click apply and now it's ok click it bold and here you can see ok here we go okay now let's make a proper well correlation so first let's make a static graphic correlation in static graphic correlation we take any horizon as a reference and we hang all the well on that horizon so let's see let's pull I see I want to hang all my well onto formation E so for that I will click on the horizon and then we'll click on flatten well section on this well top so when we click on that and now here you can see let me change scale a little bit 5000 let me zoom in and here you can see now all my wells are flattened on this well top so it will show us the thickness of below formation like that okay we can hand on this formation you can select on that flat on this so now you can see it's changed this so this type of correlation is called as stratigraphic correlation usually we hang the wells on our riser wire zone then it will show us the distribution of the riser wire species 
and its thickness that how it varies from one well to another okay let's suppose this is my reservoir I will hang this uh, hang my wells on that let's suppose that so it will show you it's have almost equal thickness in chi tau and delta well and again it's little bit thicker in alpha and more thick in phi what you see formation E is thicker in phi well but very thin in alpha well okay so this is the stratigraphic correlation now let's move to the structural correlation so first let's deactivate the flattening so in structure structural correlation we hang the well on a specific depth like we hang on mean sea level so it will show us the present structure of the area by using the well formation so let's see for that we have to go to the okay there are the two other method methods to flatten our well tops the second is just go to the go to the well top select the well top right click on that and click flatten on that and then again click on the D flat let's be flat on this and here you can see let's pause flat on this and you can see the changes the other method is <coughs> The window setting so let's suppose our window is well section window one so go to well section window one go to its setting and go to definition so here we go here option light on well top click this and then click on arrow here the well is added click apply and you can see the change so we can also change the scale from here like I see 5000 apply and here you can see you can change domain from there all the other settings that are present the, on the top is also present in there okay now there is an option flat on depth click on that now I see flat my well on TVD 0 so click apply so here you go now here you can see let's zoom a little bit more So here you can see how well is flatted on TVD zero. We can also change this if we want. Let's pause one thousand. So here you go. It's flattened on one thousand. So this is our structural correlation. It's really simple. There are so many other settings like horizontal spacing is 50 50 uh, grid lines page setup this is for print the cursor tracking click on okay okay <coughs> now we can only show limited well tops here like if I remove this 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 so here you can see that you can again show them by clicking on that so this is all this is all about 
the well correlation in pattern so there are so many options you have to try every option in this and play with it then will you will be used to this and if you have any question you can ask in our group so that's it for today goodbye welcome to another video today topic is well to seismic tie so first we have to select a line and display it so for that we have to select the tool palette and here you have to select seismic interpretation I already have selected that so there is option base map select or short key is K you select this and you click on the line like uh, I'm gonna click the line on which 5L is present because I'm going to use the 5L for well to seismic tie so double click on that Oh, first you have to create a new interpretation window okay then go to base map and now select now you can see the line is here with H which is SGS1 so let's click on the eye icon to see the whole line so now you see well is not shown on the section actually well is not selected from here so let's select all the well you see these options are disabled why because the seismic section is in the time domain and the well is in the depth domain so we have to change the well to depth domain by using time depth relationship like check shot so we can also display the well by changing domain from here like if we select TVD it will show only the wells which are in depth domain not sizing so if we select any it will show both but it will not show the real image so we have to go to again TVD oh, uh, TWT so now let's load the check shot of 5L so click on the well go on important selection ok now where is our data data for loading SGS and wells check shown and there is file and file of type is check shot OSCII and open so now we have to check our file So we have to connect this with the well like connect to trace and go to the well file so header lines are 1, 2 there is a 2 header lines only so we have to click 2 and we have TVD in feed and 2 way time in millisecond 
so we don't have empty so delete this empty folder meter and millisecond for depth reference is mean sea level and mean sea level is zero SRDZ is zero and we must have to select this negate time value if our file has negative time value then we have to uncheck this and when the file is while have positive time value so we have to check this you can change time zone if you want but now let's click ok now 51 cs check shot with depth domain it's range z range now click ok for all now in global well logs and we can see our check shot here our check shot and in well fitter is file well. so now we have to apply the check shot to our well so we for that we have to click on the well and go to the setting and then go to the time we already have here so click on that create new and run so it's create it's apply the check shot on the well so click apply click ok and now you can see our well is active so click on that and now see here is our check shot so well it's displayed so let's see let me check I think there is some error Let's go to setting take the spreadsheet let's close this let's go to the check shot the spreadsheet so it's two a time no MD okay 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 Think we take MD long in the loading so let's close this let's delete this let's delete this too yes our oh well is gone again we have to go to the well important selection Click well, open, and here is our mistake. Our TVDS is in feet, we select meter. So, here in feet, connect to well 5 and millisecond, and it's to a time. It's okay. So, again, okay to all. Okay. And now I click on that, go to setting, table where it goes. Like again, I'll check it. Ah, oh, there you go. This goes used for correlation. So, like I check from cut there and check there. It's matching. Oh, this horizon match with this, and then I will use this. So, let me delete this. Okay, the final thing.
of this course to convert our horizon into a map so for that it's a very simple procedure let me close these you can see here is our all the horizon values so let's go to seismic interpretation and there is option make surface so click on that okay first we have to go the input data so input data is our formation E okay and the boundary it will automatically take the boundary of all our interpreted data so if we have any polygon we can put that so it will limit our surface to that polygon okay so the false line of polygons we haven't created fold polygon yet this is a fold interpretation the fold sticks this cannot be used you see they accept only polygons so I'm not using that so our data is 2d line so is seismic line low density so click on that okay now there are well adjustments so well top so let me put the well top formation E here we go it's to a time okay, because our horizon is in time so we'll adjust this with the time you can adjust that or you can only create that by using the grid okay you can use in algorithms there is conversion interpolation conformal gridding iso interpolation you can use any of this you can google these terms and find the algorithm behind them so i'll click on that like on geometry i'll define this is the automatic and if we have a grid we can get all setting from selected or we can limit that so grid increment 50 by 50 and let me quickly create the surface move up and click display after run so let's apply and here we go let me click ok there you go this is our surface let's check the surface settings this is formation F let me right click on that let's go to the setting okay let's first check the color in the local auto scale and there we go and click oh, oh, oh okay let's again go to the setting and let's go to the style let's um, set the contours a little bit like the contour interval is 25 let's see let's move into 10 and apply so okay and we 
verify with bold uh, show annotations and here you go okay annotation should be bold okay so let's increase it over to 30,000 Oh, it's quite good. Let's increase this to eight thousand. Okay, and start from zero. And size like one thousand. okay this is the setting we can change that the good line and many other calculation operations but that are advanced level so we are only on basic so click ok and here is our map so this map shows as we move from there to there this is our shallowest point and this is our deep so in this direction from northeast to southwest we're going deeper so let's zoom this out okay so that's all for the basic training of petrol i hope you enjoy this and uh, you learn something from that practice these things and use the data that we provided and we'll see you in next training the tech log training so till then and goodbye and take care